IGCSE Biology 319B. In 319A, we carried out a cross between two parents, the P1 generation, and those parents were red petal, plant was crossed with a white petal plant. When we say cross, we mean reproduction. In this instance, pollen grains are transferred from this plant to the ovules of this plant. If we were dealing with animals, it would be the male sperm cells are transferred to the female egg cells. In the example that we did, we worked out that the first generation, known as the F1, were all red. And the calculation revealed that they were heterozygous for the allele for petal color. In this demonstration, we're going to carry out an F1 cross. And this involves reproduction between an F1 parent with an F1 parent. We begin by writing down the phenotype. And the phenotype would be a red petal plant would be crossed with another red petal plant from this generation here. The genotype the combination of alleles that they would have would mean that one of the homologous chromosomes would be carrying the big R allele and the other one would be carrying the little r allele. This is the same for this parent here. So the big R allele and the little r allele. Cells from this parent will undergo the process of meiosis detailed in 3, 2, 6, in which the chromosome number is halved and the alleles are separated. And therefore, the pollen grains from this plant here will either have the big R allele like this, that's one kind of pollen grain, or it could have the little r allele. Those will be transferred and will fertilize ovules which would contain either the big r allele or the little r allele. The fertilization, which by the way is covered in 3.2, is demonstrated by drawing a table. The ovules would have half of them theoretically will have the big R allele or there could possibly be a little r allele. These are the two possible kinds of ovule that we can have. If we bring down the male gametes to here then the pollen grain would either be carrying the big R allele or the pollen grain would be carrying the little r allele, as in here. If this pollen grain fertilizes this ovule, this will bring together the chromosomes so that we have a new homologous pair, and both of them would be carrying the big r allele, homozygous and dominant. On the other hand, if this pollen grain fertilizes this ovule, we would have the big R allele combined with the little R allele, 
which would be a heterozygote. If the pollen grain was this kind and fertilized this kind of ovule, we would have the big R allele coming together with the little r allele to form another heterozygote. Notice that by convention we placed the capital dominant allele first. The alternative is that this allele here fertilizes this allele here in the ovule and we would have a new homologous pair little r with little r. These four cells contain the possible new genotypes in the next generation. The genotypes of what are now called the second generation, the F2, are big R, big R, or notice that we have two heterozygotes, big R and little r, and we also have here the homozygous recessive little r, little r. Of course, we can't actually see the chromosomes. If we carried out this process, we would see the actual seeds germinate and grow into plants themselves, and we would see the phenotypes. So now we write down the phenotype of the F2. These would be red. These also would be red. But these ones here would be white. Notice that this gives us a ratio of three red to one white. It should be noted that this is not the number of offspring that we obtain, obtain but is actually a prediction. It's a prediction stated as a ratio, and the ratio is known as the F2 ratio of 3 to 1. 3 red to 1 white. This is more formally known as the monohybrid F2 ratio.